and kingpin producer and industry trailblazer, Mark Opitz. He's not a man that will shy away from telling you exactly what needs to happen. You've got to get it quick, you've got to get it fast. Recaptures a moment in history. She hasn't sung it in, she said, 50 years. Oh, <laughs> if it wasn't for the recording studio, you couldn't do that. With a recording fit for a queen. Do it with tears, do it with whatever you want. Oh, wow. Entering the recording studio is 86-year-old Tony. Where are we going? We're going in here. We're going in here. Right. Oh, good. Yeah. You don't have to press any buttons. No buttons. <laughs> Everything's automatic. I was born at St Margaret's Hospital in 1932. I haven't been in this end of town for years now. It's over 20 years since I've been here. My name is Tony Lamont. My nickname has been Lolly Legs Lamont. I'm 86 and I was born 10 days after the Harbour Bridge opened. So I always say I'm as old as the Sydney Harbour Bridge but I only need half the maintenance. <laughs> need I say but two words. Tony Lamont. Gather around. I've got a story to tell. Singer, actor, dancer and comedian, Tony Lamond is one of the greats of Australian show business. A leading lady of the stage and TV icon who worked alongside the likes of Graham Kennedy and Bert Newton. So you were the conductress on the old bus 247, weren't you? That's right. I, you. I remember you too. <laughs> Chucked you off for not paying your fare. Oh, come on. I offered you $20. Yeah, if it wasn't for the fair, was it? <laughs> I've been so lucky, so very lucky. I was born into a show business family, so it was the family business. Parents Stella Lamond and Joe Lawman were revered legends of the vaudeville stage. Little sister Helen Reddy, the queen of 70s pop music. And my husband and I, we had a double act. He taught me to dance better and I taught him how to tell a joke. This vision of the couple's landmark TV performance introduced Tony as the first woman on Victorian television. Slap your hand, slap your thigh. I was the first woman in the world to compare a Tonight Show in Melbourne tonight. I won two Logies. It was unbelievable, a dream come true. Yeah. I think I'm most proud of my son, Tony. Show business was in Tony's blood because he began at age seven on television with Graham Kennedy. How do you think it would be being funny on television night after night? I think it'd be a bit of a drag. Bit of a drag. And finished up a Broadway star. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> Tony Sheldon's lead role in the musical Priscilla, Queen of the Desert, took him to London's West End and the theatrical capital of the world, Broadway, where he was nominated for a prestigious Tony Award. I know my mum is so proud of me, she could bust. My relationship with my mother has always been very much good mates. She's learnt to be a fighter, and I admire her for that so much. These days, my life has changed very, very much because my body is breaking down. So I, I stay at home. Love the crosswords. Mr Plot. Walking back into a recording studio again, it'll be a nice curtain call. You've got to have a big finish. Working with Tony is heavyweight producer Mark Opitz, ARIA winner and the man behind some of the most celebrated artists in music history, including In Excess, Ray Charles and even Tony's sister, Helen Reddy. Tony Lamond is an absolute icon in the show business world. Hello. Hello. 
My name's Tony. It's an absolute pleasure to meet show business royalty. Before the record, Mark will have a day to get to know Tony and workshop her song. I remember reading those old agency magazines in the 70s and 80s and there'd be all these photos of Tony. And so for me to work with her, I love it. You're here to record? Yes. What song do you want to record? Um, I'm going to be doing As Long As He Needs Me from Oliver. Beautiful. Because I was very fortunate to be cast as Nancy in the Australian production. And my 11-year-old son was one of the orphans and oh, one of Fagan's boys. After premiering in London's West End and winning a Tony Award on Broadway, Australian producers J.C. Williamson's brought the hit musical Oliver to Australia, casting a local performer, Tony Lamond, in the lead role of Nancy. Tony performed eight shows a week, and then family tragedy hit. Between the Sydney and the Adelaide um, seasons, my husband, Frank Sheldon, died. During the tour of Oliver, I closed the Sydney season and Frank had gone back to Melbourne. I was on the train with Tony and the train stopped at Goulburn and two policemen got on and came in and, and said, Miss Lamond, we're here to tell you that your husband has committed suicide and he's, he's passed away. His death affected me so much. We were opening in Adelaide the night after Frank's funeral. The producers came to me and said, you're not thinking of not being on, are you? We can't put an understudy on an opening night. And I wasn't given any choice. I had to be on. To sing As Long As He Needs Me the night after my husband's funeral, it left heartbreak that went on for years. I'm recording this for the people that still remember me, but it's mainly for Tony and I. But I think we can share this song together. Maybe, yeah. Whoa, where did that come from? I thought it would make a nice finale to leave for my son. Showbiz veteran Tony Lamont is here to record As Long As He Needs Me from Oliver, a song that has an important place in both her professional and personal history, and one that she has never recorded. Behind this song, there's, there's so much emotion. It's in memory of her husband, and it's also a cultural piece for Australia with As Long As He Needs Me, in terms of the way you sing it. Now, I you... want to do it as I did it in the show. OK. As, as the Cockney girl mm. who was a prisoner of love. Well, I, I think that maybe um, we should uh, join Scott, our musical director, and, and have a run through to see how we're going to put this all together and make your dream fulfil itself. Darn good thinking, Mark, yes. Well, thank you, Tony. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, lovely. I really was looking forward to meeting Tony. She's, she's one of those icons of Australia, like Bert Newton to me, like she's a, a female Bert Newton. Looking forward right to this. <laughs> I am too. Workshopping with Tony around the piano gives producer Mark and music director Scott an opportunity to sort out the song's arrangement ahead of the recording. Tony has sung the song many times. But at 86, clearly she's going to get tired and, and etc. Just, you know, as you feel it. I don't want you to tire yourself too much. Right. So within reason, the okay. floor is yours. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Scott. As long as he needs me. Oh, yes, he does need me. 
when Scott did the intro to the song, it's indescribable, the feeling. And I was so thrilled because I thought, what if I've lost it? No, I haven't lost that thrill. Who else could love him still? You know that night she was singing for her husband. And you know that every time she's ever sung that song since, she's still singing it for him. As long as he needs me If you've been lonely Then you will know When someone needs you You love them so I won't betray his trust It's a, um, it's a force of nature. It's in her blood. I just think that we need to to guide her through the motion of the song and make her feel comfortable where she is. As long as he needs me, oh, bum. <laughs> God love you. You've never played for me before, and I, you're you're brilliant. Thank you. Thank but you. I think we'll have to record those bits separately. I haven't sung it in years. With oh, well, it is so. a run through. It is oh, a run it was. through. First run through. <laughs> Tony seems stressed, I think, because she knows that that used to be easy. But um, she hasn't sung it in, she said, 50 years, which that's a long, long, long time ago. I know. I think you're doing perfectly. I think oh, what you said. No, you... no, it's, it's never perfect. It's, no, no, it's, no, no, be, no. it's the, be, the what, best what, I can. No, no. <laughs> Whatever happens, it, it doesn't matter. As long as it's coming from your heart. Yeah. And, as, and, yeah. and yeah, we're going to try and get this as, as good as we can. We're, we're all here, we're your team working for you, everybody. And so, but in the end, it's yours. So just, you just Thank you. do it with tears, do it with whatever you want, okay? As long as it means everything to you. Mark, the producer, was just so wonderful. It was heartwarming. That's a bit of a problem with the with the key change. Maybe, maybe, but I think the adrenaline, you're a showgirl. <laughs> On the night, you always deliver. Hopefully. Tony Lamond smells grease paint. She hears the roar of the crowd. She's done this all her life. Yes, she got a little heart at the end. Yes, she gets a little tired. But you know what? If she cracks tomorrow, her nights don't make it, I don't care. Because if she just gives me what's in her heart, what I saw in her eyes today, I'm a happy man. It's a passion. It's the passion that, that I always worry about for me. Always the passion. That's... Thank you. It's music, you know? And that's what music is, It's passion. That's right. And you still got it, baby. <laughs> Thank you. Our pleasure. Thank you. It changes key towards the end and suddenly you're using parts of your throat that you haven't been using through the whole of the song. So I know that's what I have to rehearse. I'll start practicing yeah, now. Yeah, let me hear that reverb. I will drive the neighbours probably a bit mad. Zing, 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 zing. I don't want to disappoint Tony. He's the light of my life and I care very much what he thinks. I hope it's going to be there tomorrow. <laughs>
who must position everything strategically to capture the entire recording in one go. It's really, really challenging. You can't really separate the instruments. You wouldn't want to. An, an orchestra is supposed to be one big sound. It's like a big machine. There's so many moving parts and it's a real work of art. Figure C, there's a slight... Guiding today's orchestra is conductor Kelly Dickerson. Kelly's role is integral to keeping this orchestra on track. With every stroke of her hand, she is giving us tempo, she's giving dynamic, making sure that we can get the best recording we can possibly get. Just to play 60, adding a little bit more piano in there. You're right to go on the fly? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Great, thank you. So, bar 60, here we go. This was actually a real thrill for me today. Not every day you get to play with a 35-piece orchestra and an Australian ed legend like Tony, so uh, I'll take it. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, we're in the wrong studio, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was going to have a band playing, um, you know, maybe five-piece band or something. 35 piece orchestra. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, how wonderful. I was flabbergasted. It was it was beautiful. I I got teary and I went, oh can can this get even more thrilling and exciting? Water please. I'm coming up. <laughs> I'm your water boy. Wow. Here comes the water boy. For us this is one little thing to be aware the of. Biggest the biggest hurdle with time. Tony is in yeah. fact her maturity. It's not easy to hit those notes when you haven't been singing for a long time. Can I just wipe your beautiful eyes for a second? I love your tears. But <laughs> they're genuine. I, I know they're I'd... genuine. It's Tony I'm Lamont. Sure this is Helen Reddy's sister. This is Stella Lamont's daughter. This is a royal lineage of, uh, of show people here. When she sang this song originally 50 years ago, she received the news of a very tragic death. There's someone special I know that you are singing to. There's several people you know you're singing to. I get it. I get it. And all we want to give you is the best gift we can. All right? So. I've been warming up since, since yesterday. I didn't hit that note. I hope I come up to snuff. Well, who, should we try? Do you want to mark through let's, one? Do you want to try one? Let's try one. Yes, yeah, let's, let's try, try one. Let's try one. Try one. Yes. Do another one. That's not a problem. More water at all? Are you OK? Not quite yet. OK. As he needs me Oh yes he does need me In spite of what you see I'm sure that he needs me That showgirl so nervous energy started to rise through her. The orchestra picked up on it. Kelly Dickerson, the conductor, picked up on it. Everybody picked up on it. You know, your hair on the back of your neck stands up. The way I feel inside The love I have to hide The hell I've got my pride As long as he needs me he doesn't say I had a microphone pretty close to her, but because she's got a stage way. career, she has natural she microphone technique. It's just working with a professional, I'll really. Play this game his way. As long as he needs me, I know where I must be I'll cling on steadfastly as long as he needs me The magic of the recording studio is you can capture the moment. 
and I can't think of a more fitting time to capture the moment. For someone who's trod that board for 70 years, this is the gift of music. that I had retired this year, I was giving up. As long as he no, never, never, never give up. Happy with yeah, I, I, I'm happy. I'll just check. Sounded with, great in here. And we're, we're all happy in the control room. Everyone's happy. Great. My son will be thrilled. <laughs> Tell him. Oh, he'll be so proud. There we go. Right. To give the gift to her son, Tony, to a song that should have been recorded by her 50 years ago. It was a such deserved moment. And it, if it wasn't for the recording studio, you couldn't do that. I think Tony will be proud of me. Am I proud of myself? I think I am. Yeah, I think I scrubbed up okay. <laughs> oh my God, it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> oh. Next time, Charles Fisher records a Sinatra classic with an 88-year-old crooner. I've never recorded with anyone who's had dementia before. Shane Nicholson. You guys pregnant? No, I'm just fat. Helps some young parents to be, create a gift for their unborn child. That's beautiful. And Matt Fell helps a family from the bush put together a tribute to their late father.